Hi, welcome to your daily love quickie. These are the decks I'm going to use today. I'm going to put them aside. And as usual, you know, I am available for private readings. If you're interested, let me know. You will find the information in the description box below. Also, you would help my channel greatly by liking, subscribing, hitting the bell button. And there will be more readings to come. Also, this is just a general love quickie. I do have more in-depth readings and pick a cards as well. You can check those out. So, Divine Feminine, where are you at? Okay, I see, I see, I see. Okay, Divine Feminine, there is some things you need to work through, okay? No worry. Uh, do I have to sneeze now or not? <laughs> this is the Seven of Cups. Here in this deck... It's an English, it's a German deck. It's like yeah, this word means like something that's spoiled, rotten, and it's like poison leaking out of these cups. So to me, this card can indicate something like anxiety, depression, substance abuse, for example. But also, if you are an empath, it is important for you to clear your energy regularly. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about because if you're an empath, then Maybe you're picking up on other people's energy and it's drawing you down. Okay, it's nothing bad. It's just, if you know that you do have that gift, that talent, ground yourself. Take bath in, in salt water, for example, or do your chakra work, root chakra, basically. Ground yourself, let go of that negative energy. It can be your own anxiety, etc. But it can come from the outside. If this is a, for example, twin flame relationship, I mean, there are other high level soulmates, relationships that are connected as well through the chakras not as intense as twin flames but sometimes if you are connected to a person you will see how he's feeling or she's feeling the divine feminine picks it up intuitively so clear yourself okay but then we do have this card and it's talking about cruelty it's the nine of swords this card to me indicates that there is something she needs to forgive herself and others Herself can indicate there have been past relationships that ended badly and she has not forgiven herself thinking like Why did I let anybody do that to me? Why did I go through that for that long? Why did I behave in that way? Why didn't I do something differently for example, okay, and also It is important to forgive the other person as well. I usually recommend Ho'oponopono to my clients. That's a very nice way to yeah forgive others you will find instructions on that on youtube for example but you can do whatever you can write a letter and burn it it's important to not write down any negative things just like i'm letting that go because if you like curse a person like saying oh, go to hell and then burn it it's like black magic don't do that because that can bounce back to you and also we are good people we are divine feminines if you call yourself a divine feminine a divine feminine would never hurt another person unless she has to defend her own life, for example, or has to defend somebody else. A divine feminine does not um, hurt anyone, okay? She's not petty. She's not um, mean. She's not evil. She's not jealous. Yeah? That's nobody who's in their power. So... You can write it in, like a letter to that person, like I want to let go of the past, I forgive you and then burn it, but also you will find meditation of forgiveness. Whatever it is, find your own method, but there is something that needs to be forgiven yourself and another person. Then we do have this lovely card, I love it very much, it's the Fool. And the Fool is the card, it's a zero, it's a new beginning. You know, once you've let that energy behind, you will have a new beginning, you will start fresh, you will feel great. The fool for me is trusting the universe, trusting in divine guidance. And then look what we've got. We've got in other decks, it's called Wheel of Fortune. In this deck, it's called just fortune or luck. So you will get lucky, happy. It's number 10, Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, there is some cycles you are going through right now. But you can do it. It's just important to actually work through it. It won't just dissolve by itself, okay? Do your chakra work, do your, your meditations, whatever it is. Some, everything that centers you. I just saw 444. So, the one masculine. He is a bit better right now. I get different energies. Okay, we do have the um, 
queen of pentacles so for some of you the divine masculine may be the female person then she is grounding herself for some of you that person still has another person then we do have death which means ending something and the nine of pentacles usually represents the single card and then we do have victory for you so there is something that person is ending right now i love death it's talking about a transformation there is some form of transformation if again there is another person he's leaving or she's leaving that person behind maybe your divine masculine is a woman then she is stepping into her queen of earth energy which is the grounded person the rooted person and what's that noise oh it's my neighbor <laughs> And this card is talking about gaining something. It's a nine of pentacles, so it could talk about gaining some financial stability, but everything that's grounded and rooted. And again, six of wands is victory. You do have victory for him. So divine masculine is at a, a bit better place right now than a divine feminine. But that is okay, because both are transforming. We do have death here, and we do have like the fool and luck fortune here. Let's see what the gateway oracle has to say. Communicating freely. I communicate from the depth of my being. Oh, and look, it's like a breath and everything is glowing, growing. So this could be manifesting. Okay. Also, what I'm getting, Divine Feminine, watch your words. If you are saying stuff like, he's never coming back anyway, or he doesn't love me, or he should go to hell or whatever. Again, Divine Feminine is not in that kind of energy. If you are in that kind of energy, it's the... Um, how how do you call it? It's not the divine. It's the distorted feminine. Watch your words, okay? Because if you say stuff like, I don't want him anyway anymore, guess what's going to happen? You don't get him. And you can't send information to the universe like, oh, I love him, I miss him. And then the next minute, oh, I don't want him anyway because he's not acting the way I want him to act, for example, okay? So watch your words. This is what I'm getting with this card. Try to talk positive try to think positive and uh, also if you do get to talk to him communicate freely but this doesn't mean like saying bad things don't curse him don't judge him okay and then we've got manifesting i was just talking about manifestation <laughs> i didn't see that card manifesting dreams my dreams are coming true so divine feminine you are manifesting stuff you know if you are thinking about negative stuff you are manifesting negative stuff if you're trying to think about positive stuff guess what you're manifesting so again there is some manifestation coming and again we do have victory and fortune so let's check the romans angels oh past life relationship you have known each other before in case you were wondering so it is a, a at least soulmate relationship we can have reconciliation as soon as that stuff is cleared and we do have engagement it doesn't have to be a literal engagement but it means like stepping higher it could be like if you are out of contact to get back to contact if you are in contact then to get um a little more contact you know and or start dating whatever just going to the next step and what messages does the divine masculine have for the feminine and again for some of you the divine masculine maybe no that's too many i'm not taking it many at once maybe a woman so maybe there's some same sex couples on here or the divine masculine is um in a female body and vice versa no that's it one fellow on the floor Please send me a sign. I need to know that you still care. <laughs> to be honest, I don't get that you should do that. I get that you are in that energy. For most of you. Unless maybe you are this person. I'm, 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 I think unless you are this person watching the Divine Feminine. If some of you... I mean the masculine. That person wants a sign. Not that person. So it's the Divine Feminine that is craving for a sign because she is in a place of hurt. 
I cannot believe you even exist. Yeah, past life relationship. I want to take you on a date. Nice. I love how strong and gentle you are at the same time. And you are my angel. Sweet. So again, if you still have some petty thoughts, leave that behind because your person does not like that about you. Your person likes you strong, yes, but also gentle and angelic. Okay. That does not mean to take any bullshit somebody sends at you. Don't get it wrong. Okay. But you can be kind and strong and set your boundaries at the same time. So this is what I'm getting for you. If you liked it, please subscribe, like and share. And again, I am available for private readings and then I do wish you a happy day. Bye.